Hey guys, Sweet Geek 4 here. I wanted to drop by really quick and show you something that I worked on yesterday. Um, I talked about how I was going to build Kennedy a house and how I like to actually build up their house and get the furniture and everything set up in it and then I like to have them save up the money for it so they can actually live there. So this house took me, my gosh, probably a total of six hours to complete yesterday and one of the main reasons it took so long is because I was having a hard time getting the garage to connect to the house which that was a long story in itself that I'm just not going to talk about so what I want to do is actually give you a house tour yes that is Kennedy standing right there no he is nowhere near ready to actually live in it I had to get someone on the lot so I could actually do this um, this tour like I wanted to so we will go ahead and get started this is the outside of his house it's green and but the way the snow and the the cloud or clouds are showing it makes it look yellow so let's go ahead and walk inside which I wish there was an easier way to actually walk inside had I thought thought this through the correct way I would have uh, <laughs> I would have actually started at the very front. This is ridiculous. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. No, I don't know. I don't want to do that. Okay. Seems like I don't know what I'm doing, doesn't it? Oh, this is still super, super slow. I promise we will eventually get inside of his house. <laughs> Which, this is not. Why? Seriously? Oh, goodness. Well, that was the foyer, foyer, whatever you want to call it. This isn't showing half the stuff that, jeez. Let me. Okay, my goodness. Nope. For the love of God, really? Okay. So let's get inside never mind oh my god screw it anyways so this is the foyer hey guys sweet geek 04 here I wanted to drop by and show you something that I worked on yesterday um, in the video um, episode 2 I talked about how I wanted to build Kennedy a house to live in eventually because what I like to do is I'll build up these houses for my Sims and I'll make them save up all the money to buy them. That way when they actually have enough money to move, the house is already ready and it's just waiting. This house took me probably a total of six hours off and on yesterday. It, I, I just added so much detail to it that it, that's how long it took. And especially now that EA has given us the option to customize the colors of everything. Some of you that are house builders yourselves know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yes, that is Kennedy standing outside. I had to move someone in to be able to give the house tour like I wanted to. Unfortunately for Kennedy, it's going to be a while before he gets to live here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on the first floor. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these walls down. If I can do the tour the way I want to, hopefully it'll work. So let's see here. Tab. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be able to see, this is the foyer, which I normally don't do foyers, but I really, for some reason, thought that this house needed it. Let me take it out of that mood. So there's the foyer. As you can see, it's got the rugs that came with Supernatural. I love those rugs. Nothing fancy, just something to be able to walk into and be like, oh, this house is kind of cool. This is the living room. I think this is what took me the most time to build yesterday. Um, as you can see, you've got the fireplace here with the chairs that are surrounding it. We've got that wo woven um, trunk, I guess you can call it. I love these windows here because I love window seats and I thought this house needed it. You've got the living area where um, they can actually sit and watch TV. 
and I made this whole flower corner. I wasn't really sure what to do with it, so I just put a bunch of flowers there. <laughs> and then over here, you've got the stereo. I am a person that loves antiques, so anytime EA gave me the option to use antique stuff inside of the game, I went with it. Over on this side, when we turn around, you've got, like I said, the chess table, and then this is where the computer will go. I give my Sims most of the things that they need, but once they move in, there's some other things that they can, I make them by themselves. So here, this is the entryway to the kitchen, which if this didn't take so long, I wouldn't keep flip-flopping out of that mode. Um, this is the kitchen. I guess I can turn the lights on for you guys, huh? Let's turn on all lights. That way you can see everything way better. This is the kitchen. Uh, nothing too fancy here. I had some cherry wallpaper earlier, but it didn't fit with all the furniture that I was using. So I changed it to this little floral thing. Um, this is the kitchen table. That's from Seasons. That This picture over here is from Seasons. This plant, I don't know where it came from, but it's just there. <laughs> Turn around here. This is actually a bathroom. I was supposed to add a bathroom. I didn't even finish this wallpaper over here. I suck. I was supposed to add a bathroom in the house somewhere else, but I forgot to do it, and I forgot where we were supposed to go. So I ended up just doing it here. Um, there's nothing special, just a toilet and a washing basin or whatever you want to call it. Here is where I added the, the pizza oven. Which, when I actually bought it, it ended up being a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. My favorite thing in the kitchen has been this overhead light. And it's over the over the stove, so if I wanted it to just be, if I wanted to turn this light off and this light off. Like, to me, that's how, like, when I was little, oh, I forgot this light. When I was little, my mom would always leave this light on, the overhead light, in our kitchen. And that's how I would sneak down at night and get snacks, and even though I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys the garage really quick. Here's the garage. Um, I forgot to put in the, a room for the washer and dryer. So this is where the washer and dryer lives. Nothing fancy about that garage. Um, let's see. Did I forget anything down here? No. Okay. Upstairs is nothing fancy at all because... I designated two bedrooms. There's a third bedroom that I haven't even touched yet. Um, obviously, boy bedroom, girl bedroom for if, if and when he decides to have kids. This is the first full bathroom for the kids to share. Nothing too fancy, just a bathroom. And then this is Kennedy's bedroom for his potential wife and himself. Um, I love these. Every time I want to talk about them, I always forget the names of them. But I just call them, you know, portable walls. I love these, so I put one of those in his room. Um, this window came with Seasons. I love, I've always wanted to have the option to have my Sims open windows. And while this isn't the exact thing that I had in mind, it, came, it comes pretty close to having open windows, and I'm happy with that. It, I added this overhead um, shower, or shower curtain that came with Supernatural which if you don't look for it, you'll never see it. They've got their laundry hamper and fake shoes. We've got the matching curtains with the matching bedspread. I believe these two pictures came with Generations and this one came with Supernatural. Over here, we've got a bookshelf. And then over here, we've got this beautiful picture that I love. Couch, fireplace, and old luggage like i said i love antiques anytime i have the opportunity to use anything antique in this game i jump right on it um bathroom again nothing too special i try to add as much detail as possible in my houses and i felt i did a pretty good job with this bathroom and so yeah there's the boys bedroom girls bedroom this third bedroom, because I haven't decided how many kids I want Kennedy to have yet, it may end up being a third kid's room, or it may just end up being a playroom or an office. I have not decided what I want to do with it quite yet. So that's the inside of the house. This is what it looks like with snow. I wanted to see what it looked like with Christmas lights, but since I guess we're here, we can go ahead and do that. 
So we'll do hanging. Let's do red. It's cute. I thought it would be a little bit more, though. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not at least a little bit disappointed with the way that the house or the lights look on this house. Oh, and look up here. I added um, one of those uh, weather wind things. Backyard's nothing too special either. Like I said, I moved them into the house, and then later on, as they earn money, which by this time, he should be a millionaire, um, I'll, I'll add extra things. So all I did back here was you got your trees. Um, he has a fireplace, so this is where the wood goes, and um, more trees. Nothing special in the backyard. It's just a bunch of trees, and here is this whole little flower garden with some flowers, and of course the snow has destroyed it, so you really can't see. But in the springtime, I think this house will look phenomenal. And I'm sure what's gonna happen is some stupid sim is gonna move into my house until Kennedy saves up for it, and then I'm going to have to kick them out because this house was not intended for them. So yeah, this is Kennedy's future house. He's not living here yet. It's going to be a while. Um, oh, I forgot all of this stuff here this is all ivy i love ivy so i put a bunch of ivy at the front of the house and yeah that's oh, i forgot to show you the porch too geez porch more ivy flowers his um easel is here and his mailbox and trash can because i'm so sick and tired of the stupid animals knocking over my trash can like it's ridiculous so anyway that's kennedy's house and i wanted to give you guys a quick tour and i hope you enjoyed it We'll talk to you later when I see when I do the next episode. Bye.